Hi there, this is Andy and today I will guide you on how to open a brokerage account on Wealthfront, fund it, buy and sell stocks or ETFs and navigate the platform. To begin, click the link below the video or visit the Wealthfront website. Once there, hit get started. Now you will have to choose between the six different accounts offered here. Those are the 4% savings account, the new invest in the 500 portfolio in which they do the trading for you, they invest in an automated index portfolio, which once more it's managed by them, bond account, automated bond portfolio, and last, the invest in stocks account in which you can buy and sell your own stocks and ETF. Well, since we want to open a brokerage account, the last option is the one we want to go for. So click invest in stocks, add your first and last name and continue. Since this is a real account, I will hide my personal information. Add your email address and password and click I am not a robot so you can continue. Next, you have to provide them with a phone number so you can receive a six uh, digit code in order to verify it. Now we get a brief breakdown of the next steps we need to take to create the account. As you can see, we will need to provide our information, open a cash account, hold the funds that are not invested, the cash part, and last, we will open a stock investing account. Let's continue and do each step. Unlike majority of the brokers out there that they request the funding to take place at the end, Wealthfront asks for the account to be linked to the bank prior. That is not an issue as we can link it now. Click link an external account. Pick one of the banks presented here or search for the one you have an account on. I use Capital One for example. Select your bank and click agree and continue. On the pop-up you will get a breakdown of what information Wealthfront will acquire from your bank, which is the accounts, transactions and contact info. If you're okay with that, which is pretty standard, click continue. On the new browser window, and once you have logged into your bank account, you will see this following message. Wealthfront would like to access your account information. Click continue. Select the accounts you want to share data with. Usually I pick one checking account to share with so I can easily deposit and withdraw funds when needed. Click continue and then the last step is to authorize it. Done. Now you will be prompted back to your Wealthfront window. Click select my funding account, which is the one you just connected. Click on it and then select the amount you would like to transfer. Today I will transfer $30, but keep in mind that in order to open an account, you just need $1. Enter the amount and click continue. Now let's proceed and complete our account. Add your date of birth, address, pick your citizenship status, add your social security number, pick your tax filling status, and then answer a few questions such as adding your liquid net worth, your pre-tax income, employment status in which you will need to add your employer's information, and last, if you or anyone else is holding more than 10% of a public company, has affiliations with FINRA and a total value of 50 million or more. Most likely, if you did, you wouldn't be watching this video. So most likely the answer is no, but please answer what applies to you. Last, read the disclosure and the agreement forms. And if you're okay with them, check the I knowledge and agree and click open account. Great. Our CAS application has been completed. But as you can see, there are a few more questions pending in order to open our stock investing account, which was our main goal. In the meantime, I have received two emails. One was for me to verify the email address, which was easy. And the second email asked me to provide extra documents as they couldn't verify my identity automatically. I will do that in a bit. Now let's proceed with the application. Add once more your household income because as it seems we need to follow the same steps in order to open the stock trading account. They require the same steps. The good news is that most of this info now are already populated. If not, add them and click continue. The first question is this. Imagine if you started with a $10,000 investment, then in one month your investment lost $1,000 in value. What will you do next? Well, I will not tell you what to answer here. But if you start to invest and your horizon is that of one month, don't do it at all. Investing is a long-term game. Answer that question and proceed with answering a few more. At the end, review the agreement and if you're okay with it, check the box and click open my account. Almost there. Now I need to verify my identity. It could be the same case for you or not. 
But if it is, click request a link to continue in the app and then upload a proof of address. That could be a bank statement or a utility bill with your name and address on it. Once you receive the link, verify your identity. You will be asked to download the application and log in. Do so and continue the verification in there. All you need is your driver license or ID. You will have to take a picture of the back and front uh, of ID and then a picture of yourself. Last step is to upload the proof of address and you're done. Now all you need to do is wait for a day or so so they can process all the information. It literally took less than four hours for the cash and brokerage account to be approved and funded. The main dashboard is quite plain, but keep in mind they are very up centered. Anyway, let's proceed with buying and selling a stock or ETF on their platform. To do that, hit explore and here you can select uh, the number of companies or to search for a stock or ETF. For those who have seen another one of my videos, they know that I will type in SCHD, which is the Charles Schwab Dividend Equity ETF. On the new page, you can see a graph, the percentage of growth for the last three years, which is a 34.95%, and additional info such as risk rating, expense ratio, dividend yield, and if you scroll more down, their top 10 holdings, as this is an ETF. To buy the ETF, click Invest, and then you will be redirected to transfer funds from your individual cash account to purchase the stock or ETF you wish. You can put an amount, I will do $10 for example, hit review investment, and then I get the info that the estimated time for the investment is about an hour. If you're ready, hit start investment. Done, the transfer was initiated. Now get back to your dashboard and you will notice that nothing changed. Hit transfer money and then transfer between Wealthfront accounts. Choose from individual cash account to your first stock portfolio. Pick the amount you want to transfer and click continue. Now, as you can see, it says that it will add the funds directly to SCHD, which is something I don't want to do. The logic behind is that if you pick a stock or an ETF to invest and you transfer money, you can transfer money only into it. So knowing what we know now, we need first to add the stock or ETF we're interested in our portfolio I will add a uh, VU just by clicking invest. Now back to the dashboard and click your first stock portfolio. Now it starts making sense as both my first investment of $10 to SCHD is here as well as the VU who I just clicked on. So let's try to buy the ETF again. I will click on the VU this time and uh, here I can see how many shares I have which is none. Check detail or just invest. I will choose invest. And then the same story, I will have to transfer funds from my individual cash account to VU. I will do $10 once more. Done. Now let's get back to the dashboard, click on the portfolio, and since the $10 already hit the SHD account, we can sell them. Hit sell and then pick the amount you want to sell. I will uh, enter $5, for example, and review the sale. As you can see, the money will be back to the individual cash account in one to two business days. And that is how we buy and sell stocks or ETFs on the Wealthfront platform. Now let's see what else does the platform has to offer. I will click explore and I want to check what info does it offers us on an individual stock as we already checked how an ETF appears. So I will click on Apple and on the pop-up I will hit check details. Similar to what we have seen on the ETF but the new part here which I like is that there are some collections that Apple belongs to. Probably you have all heard about the Magnificent Seven, which are Apple, Microsoft, Google, uh, the parent of Alphabet actually, Amazon.com, Nvidia, Meta Platforms, and Tesla. Now, what is interesting here is that you can invest on all seven of these in a fast move. If you click invest, all these stocks are marked, and then you can click invest in seven. Now, if you add an amount, Wealthfront will distribute this amount equally amongst the seven. It's like a small index fund, which is pretty cool. That option I like. It's a good option for many beginner traders looking to diversify. Apple has some more affiliations like uh, Cashflow King, AI Adopters, and so on. Scrolling down, we can only see the highs and lows over the past 53 weeks. The dividend yield, the volume, the market cap, and the price to earning ratio. Aside from that, the only other thing worth mentioning is the rewards they offer. If you invite a friend to open a cash account, you will receive a boost of 0.5% on your cash account and you shall receive a 4.5% API as of today. 
Also, if you invite a friend to open and fund an automated index investment account, then both of you will earn $5,000 months for free. Wealthfront is a very simple platform to begin investing. You can buy and sell stocks and ETFs, even if it's a bit strange at the beginning. I hope that this video helped you to create an account on Wealthfront, fund it, buy and sell stocks or ETFs, and navigate the platform. Please like, subscribe, and comment your questions below. I'll be more than happy to get back to you. Talk to you soon.